there are 31 teams 31 goal ones for me to make an upload they are all uploaded now it's time to review what is going on everybody this is spearhead goal horns here back again with a year in review ahl edition In this year in review, I just want to start off with a personal thank you guys for the support of AHL Goal Horns. I never really had the intent to upload AHL Goal Horns, and I am actually going to give you a little bit of a story of why I ended up uploading AHL Goal Horns this year. Now, every year for the past few years, I have been uploading the Rockford Ice Hogs Goal Horn just the rockford ice hawks one now for any of you that don't know i am actually from the rockford area so that's why i always uploaded the ice hogs goal horn because it's my area team and i just wanted to make their goal horn and that'd be the only ahl one i'd ever upload but this year i uploaded the rockford one i saw that it was generating views and i saw some people asking me like you should do ahl goal horns well because n2b goal horns did not do goal horns this year for either nhl ahl or anything else I thought why not and I ended up making AHL goal horns. In this video, since I don't really have anything to base off of like previous seasons to base my video off of, this is what we're going to be going through for this year in review. I'm going to give every goal horn a small review in the order of my personal opinion ranking along with a personal review of how I feel like I did on my video. Now we are heading into the ranking portion of this video. The criteria of the ranking from 31 to 1 was just my personal opinion of the goal horn itself and then along with the quality of my video. Let's dive right in. Sitting at number 31, I do have the San Diego goals. Um, in my opinion, the goals just don't have that great of a goal horn. It's a recording of a horn from a train in San Diego and this ties in with my quality of video. Uh, it's just... It was a really difficult recording to find, so therefore my video did not come out the greatest, and I just don't have a very good feeling with San Diego's goal horn in the AHL. Sitting at number 30, I have the Bakersfield Condors for strictly one reason. They are not consistent when it comes to their goal song. If any of you watched my Bakersfield Condors video in my age of goal horns, you would have seen that I did not even put a song in their goal horn because every time I was looking at recordings, especially from the team themselves, every single video I watched did not have a goal song. It was always a different song. So I did not even bother to make a goal song on my Condors video because I didn't really know which one to upload. Coming in at number 29, I do have the Toronto Marlies. Now, main reason for this one is I do not agree with any team who uses the general website recording of the Kallenberg KM-135, which is the horn that Toronto Marlies use, Colorado Eagles use, and Providence Bruins use, and also the Boston Bruins. But the Boston Bruins are the only team I can actually get behind with on using this recording because they altered it in a way where it just does work. Now, in 29, 28, 27, I have the three teams in the AHL that use the Kallenberg KM-135 website recording, but now it just comes down to basically their song choice. Now, the Marlies, I feel like, have the worst song choice out of the three. It just doesn't work. It's not really a song that really gets the crowd hyped. It's just a weird sound to even hear at a hockey game. <laughs>
sitting in number 28 is the Colorado Eagles. Again, they use that Calumbert KM-135 website recording, and for their third blast of their horn, they do something really weird and really wonky, and I just don't like it. To top it off, they use Rock and Roll Part 2 by Gary Glitter as their song, which no AHL team really uses anymore except for Colorado, but I believe they are working on it. It's just with their first season being brought up from the ECHL, they didn't really have time to worry about changing that goal song. <laughs> Andrew, winner of the Kalenberg KM 135 website recording goal horn at number 27, the Providence Bruins. The Bruins somewhat work with the goal horn. It kind of sounds good, but then their song is a pretty decent song with Bro Him by Pennywise. Yeah, the Ducks use it, so people are always like, oh, it's the Boston Ducks or it's the Anaheim Bruins. But the song is better than Rock and Roll Part 2 or what the Marlies use, and it just works out in general for the Bruins, putting them at number 27. <laughs> At number 26, I have my Grand Rapids Griffins Goal Horn. Now, I have mixed feelings about this one. When it came to making the Griffins Goal Horns, it, I found it very difficult to find some decent recordings. And I looked at a recording, came across a comment that said the Griffins Goal Horn sounds like the Capitals Goal Horn. So I was like, all right. I looked it up. The Griffins and the Capitals supposedly have the same model goal horn. So I was like, all right, I'll just use, I'll just find a Capitals recording and use it. And then I ended up getting a lot of heat saying it was the most inaccurate thing ever. But in my own respect, uh, the Griffins was a very hard team to find and do. Therefore, they are very low on my list. In the number 25 spot, I have the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. The Sound Tigers goal horn is a different one. It's a recording of the Blackhawks goal horn and then topped off with Out of Our Heads by the Dropkick Murphys. So in this respect, it kind of just sounds like they are being the Blackhawks mixed with the Florida Panthers back when the Florida Panthers used Out of Our Heads by Dropkick Murphys. And in my opinion, this goal horn just isn't exactly the best. I felt like there could be something better that the Sound Tiger could use, but overall, it's actually kind of nice, but exactly not the greatest. Coming in at number 24, I have the Belleville Senators. Now, in my opinion, I never really agree with when a AHL team uses a recording of their NHL affiliates goal horns. So for that reason, Belleville is kind of low on my list. And at the same time, I don't really like their song choice with Righteous Smoke because that was more of a song that was famously used by the Calgary Flames overall for the saying, I'm on fire in the song. And it just doesn't work with the Senators whatsoever. Coming in at number 23, I have the San Jose Barracuda. Now, I understand my last clip, I just said I don't agree with a team that uses a recording of their NHL affiliates goal horn, but a team like the Barracuda and the Manitoba Moose is an exception. Now, the Barracuda do play in the same stadium as the Sharks, so I feel like that would be a time where it is acceptable to use the goal horn from your NHL team. So I don't really like that the Barracuda use like a wild recording when they could be using the actual goal horn in stadium of the model that the Sharks use. <laughs>
Coming in at number 22 is the Manitoba Moose. Now, I do like their goal horn in using the Winnipeg goal horn that's already in stadium, but I don't really like the song that they used. It is a complete EDM ripoff of Rev Theory's Hell Yeah that the Moose used. If they really wanted something that bad, they should just use Hell Yeah by Rev Theory instead of finding a EDM version of a song that has Hell Yeah screamed in it just to try to use Hell Yeah but not use Hell Yeah. Coming in at number 21, I have the Stockton Heat. Now for this one, it's okay with the use of the Calgary Goal Horn, but the song choice exactly isn't the greatest as they use Brohim once again. It made it look like a Calgary Anaheim mix. Therefore, it's kind of low on my list at number 21. Number 20, I have the Iowa Wild. Now, they do have quite a nice goal horn, and I actually do appreciate that they use the same exact horn pattern as the Minnesota Wild, but their song choices isn't the greatest. I've never really liked Maria, I Like It Loud, as a very good goal song to ever use in hockey. It just doesn't seem like it's that much of a crowd hyping song, despite the upbeat music. It just doesn't seem like it's exactly the best song to use when you're trying to hype a crowd up. at number 19 i have the ontario rain for this one the goal horn itself is actually quite nice i just don't agree that they use power ride just like their nhl affiliate la kings use now if they were to change it to something different maybe a little something still rock but not exactly power ride it would actually be a pretty nice goal horn and would rank a lot higher up on my list but strictly for the reason that they use power ride just like the kings use it ranks kind of low At number 18, I have the Tucson Roadrunners. Now, the goal horn itself is actually kind of nice, except for the fact that it was the generic goal horn used for EA NHL games for a while. And then their song choice isn't exactly the greatest. It, it doesn't seem like it's that energizing of a song. It doesn't really have a lot of energy or excitement in the song. Therefore, they are ranked number 18 on my list. As we are inching closer to the top half of my rankings list, at number 17, I have the Springfield Thunderbirds. Now, in general, I do really like this goal horn. The song is nice and energizing and gets the crowd into it. The only bad thing I really have to say with Springfield is their horn blast pattern is very weird. It is three blasts that are very tightly spaced, making it even sound like it's just one long continuous blast, even though in all reality, it's three blasts. And therefore, that just kills it and puts number 17 as the Springfield Thunderbirds. Coming in at number 16, I have the Hershey Bears. Reasons for this one is that they used 
a different version of the New York Rangers goal horn, which again is their NHL affiliate. At the same time, despite using the Rangers goal horn recording, it actually is kind of a nice horn and putting it at number 16 on my list. Coming in at number 15 in a stretch of three of Kallenberg T3A goal horn models, I have the Utica Commons. Now, the T3A is a pretty nice goal horn in general. It's just now coming down to the song choice. Now, the Utica Commons don't exactly have the best song. I mean, the song itself is pretty nice. It's just the edit that they use is not that good. It doesn't really help get the crowd involved whatsoever, except for the occasional chant in the song but in general it just does not get the crowd into it it's not that energizing therefore it puts Utica at the bottom of the list of the T3As making them number 15 on my list. Coming in at number 14, I have the San Antonio soon-to-be Las Vegas Rampage or whatever their name gets changed to when they move to Vegas. Now, again, they use the T3A and it's a pretty nice horn and the song this time is a lot better than Utica and therefore it puts up a spot higher on my list at number 14. At number 13 on the overall list, topping off the Kallenberg T3A list, is the Rochester Americans. Now, the Americans use their horn pretty well. They use a pretty nice pattern, and at the same time, they use a pretty good song. Now, one main thing that ends up killing their horn is the use of the old Syracuse Crunch Siren in their song. Now, if the Americans did not use that, their horn easily would have cracked at least the top 10 on my list. But therefore, because of the use of the siren, they only sit at number 13. Coming in at number 12, I have the Syracuse Crunch. Now, the Crunch, in my opinion, it was a good idea for when they switched from using that siren to using a recording of the Tampa Bay Lightning Bowl horn. Now, the song is really good. The horn is really good. Therefore, it sits pretty high on my list. It just doesn't exactly crack the top 10 just yet. It's sitting at number 12. <laughs> Coming in at number 11, I have the Hartford Wolf Pack. Now, this is a Kallenberg T3A. It was not part of the stretch of three of the Kallenberg T3As. It just works better. Therefore, it was separated from the list and had the one goal horn with the crunch in between it. Now, the Wolf Pack used the horn really well. I love their horn pattern, and then I also really like their song. I like the edit that they use for Party Till We Die. Therefore, it sits their goal horn pretty high on my list, sitting it at a number 11. We are cracking into the top 10 and at number 10 I have the Milwaukee Admirals. I really like what the Admirals do for their goal horn. They use a recording of the King's goal horn and then they use Kerncraft 400 for the song and I really like the way they use it. Just the way they edit everything out, it just sounds so good and 
even though I've never been to a Milwaukee Admirals game, it would be something I would go there for just to hear the goal horn. Coming in at number 9, I have the Texas Stars. Now, their goal horn is just really nice. I like the way it sounds. Yeah, they use bro hand, but they use it really well. Therefore, it is a pretty nice and good goal horn, making that number 9 in our top 10. Coming in at number 8, I have the Charlotte Checkers. Now, for this one, I really like the horn that they use. I kind of like their horn pattern. They use quite a lot of horn, and they actually use it in a rightful way. It's not too much, but they still use a lot. And I really like their gold song, given the fact that they have a custom gold song that was fan-made a few years ago. And therefore, that is what puts their gold horn pretty high on my list, coming in at number 8. Coming in at number 7, I have the Laval Rocket. Now, I really like the idea of the horn that they use. It's the same model that Colorado and Vegas uses, and it works really well in their stadium. Now, I do like their song choice as far as I know with using the Phineas and Ferb song, but I have been told that they have changed songs, but I have not been able to confirm it. So, I am basing this off of that they still use the Phineas and Ferb song, and therefore, it actually works really nice. I never really thought of a hockey team using a Disney song for a goal song, but they found a way to make it work really well. Coming in at number 6, I have the Binghamton Devils. I really like the model of their goal horn in general. It's the same model that the Wheeling Nailers use in the ECHL, but the Devils use it really well. I really like it, and their song is a good song choice. It's Ain't Talking About Love by Van Halen, and they use a song edit that really energizes the crowd and gets them into it. For these reasons, I really like the Binghamton Devils goal horn and makes them number 6 on my list. Cracking into our top five, at number five, I have the Cleveland Monsters. Now, I really appreciate the fact that there is no NHL team in Cleveland, yet this team still has gotten a real goal horn to use in their stadium. So, for this reason and their song choice, I really like that they use Monster by Skillet. It fits the team so well. And then they also transition into the Whip by Loxley, so it gives them a little bit of a tribute to their NHL affiliate, the Blue Jackets. For these reasons, especially, I put the Cleveland Monsters at number five. <laughs> Coming in at number 4 on the list, I have the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Now, something interesting with the Phantoms is their goal horn is 
pretty interesting, but actually comes out to be really cool. Their Gold Horn is a bank of five truck horns from a Mack truck, and they actually have four of these same exact banks, and each of them are placed at each corner of the ring so when it comes to this there isn't really a bad thing of recordings because you will luckily get a good sound of the recording no matter where you sit in the stadium and it actually helps me out it provided a lot of good recordings making me able to make a really good video and a really good goal horn for the lehigh valley phantoms <laughs> Coming in to our top three at number three, I have the Wilkes Bear Scranton and Penguins. Now, pretty interesting thing about my Scranton and Penguins video, it was actually a mix of like eight recordings. Now, the main person for me to thank when it came to this video is TJ2400 Productions. He provided so many good recordings of the Scranton Penguins goal horn, it just made my video an easy one to make and it still sounded really, really good. Coming in at number two, I have the Chicago Wolves. The Wolves are really unique, and instead of using an actual goal horn, they use a siren. And not just a recorded siren, they use a real siren. Now going into the season, I thought my Wolves video was going to suck because no one really knew the model siren that the Wolves used. But thanks to the faceoff.net, they actually ended up finding out the exact model that the Wolves used. So I was able to look it up and I was able to find many recordings of the same exact model siren that the Wolves used. And I just found a really good one and that is the one that I used for my Wolves video, making it a really good one. And I especially love the fireworks that they use right before the siren goes off, which makes them easily one of the best goal horns in the AHL, putting them number two on my list. And last but not least, the best goal horn in the AHL, the Rockford Ice Hogs. Now, this is not a biased decision because, like I said earlier in the video, I am from Rockford. The Ice Hogs are my local team. This has nothing to do with that. I just really like the sound of the Ice Hogs goal horn, and I actually have a bit of a story with the Ice Hogs. So, I was just curious one day. I ended up emailing the Ice Hogs themselves and wondered if there was a way I could end up getting like a job shadow with their multimedia manager, Chris Toltzman. Well, I did get an email back. I did get this job shadow. And during a game against the Chicago Wolves during the second period, I actually got to go up to the media booth and was actually able to use the Ice Dogs goal horn a couple times in game. Now, this was a really cool experience for me. And then Chris Toltzman, the multimedia manager, hooked me up and emailed me a recording of the Ice Hogs goal horn with an empty stadium. And it also emailed me a separate file of them using their real siren. So not only because of these circumstances, just because of also the way the horn sounds along with the siren, it easily puts the Ice Hogs at number one on my list.
as we are reaching the end of the video, I have to thank all of you for the overwhelming support over the season of NHL and AHL. And I have to thank all of you as I have hit 600 subscribers by the time this video is being recorded. So thank you all for the support. I am overwhelmed. I thought I would never get here in the goal horn business, but here I am and I can't thank you guys enough. Now I'm going to use this last section of the video to once again update you on custom goal horns as you guys have been able to tell i have been uploading one a day at one o'clock my local time which is central time and i am planning on keeping that the way it's going to be until the rest of the custom goal horns are uploaded now i did originally schedule that my last custom goal horn for now was going to be uploaded on april 4th as that was going to be the last day of the nhl season so i can prep for the nhl playoffs and the ahl playoffs but as all of you probably know tragedy is striking not only locally but and not only nationally but globally all major sports right now are suspended due to the outbreak of the new virus coronavirus as of right now for custom goal horns i am going to be uploading one a day as long as I can and until all of them are uploaded and then as long as when the NHL season comes back and then when the end of the NHL season hits so I can prep for playoffs and then I will be working on a form for next year's custom goal horns just please be patient with me and I will be make probably making a video strictly based on custom goal horns to talk to you guys about the whole circumstances when it comes to them and you guys will be able to start requesting when that video comes out. I do want to thank you guys once again for the overwhelming support. This has been a year in review AHL edition. I can't wait to be continuing with the custom goal horns. I can't wait until hockey comes back and I can get working on the Calder Cup playoffs and the Stanley Cup playoffs goal horns. And I cannot wait for these videos to upload. It's going to be a great time. Again, thank you all for the support. I love you all and I will see you guys later.